Hi, boys and girls. I have a question for you. What is the best gift you have ever received? The best gift that you have ever, ever gotten? Do you still have that? Will it last forever? No. But there is a gift far better than any of these. And this gift is from someone who loves you more than anyone else ever possibly could. Do you know who that is? Right, God. God loves you so incredibly. He has a wonderful gift that he wants to give you. But let's think about and talk about some of the gifts that God gives. One of the gifts is the earth. Did God need the earth for him? No, he didn't. He made it for us. And he gave us the job of ruling over the earth and of the animals. God gives us food to eat, air to breathe. He gives us sunlight to give us warmth and to give us light. God gives us the nighttime so that we have the stars and the moon to enjoy and have that time of rest. But the earth is not God's greatest gift. God also has given us amazing bodies. Think about it. We have hands and feet that can do things like we tell it. We have eyes to see beautiful things, ears to hear interesting sounds. We have voices to talk to each other. We have taste buds to taste amazing things like chocolate, pizza, ice cream. We have minds to learn fantastic things. But our bodies are not the greatest gift from God. God has also given us each a soul. That's the real you on the inside. The one that can think and feel and can love. God made you and me different than everything else he made. God made people in his image. God gave people a soul. And with your soul, you can know God. You can feel his love. You can talk to God. You can love God. You can serve God. Your soul is a very big, wonderful gift. But that's not God's greatest gift to you. God has also given you his word, the Bible. The Bible is God's true book. And in it, he tells about his plan from the very beginning to the very end. He tells the best way to live. Now, because God knows everything, he knows the very best way to live on earth. God has given many amazing promises in the Bible. But the Bible is not God's greatest gift. However, the Bible does tell us about God's greatest gift. And inside my box, we see God's greatest gift is Jesus. Jesus is God's greatest gift. At Christmas time, we celebrate when Jesus was born as a baby, when God sent him to come to earth. Now, Jesus, he is God. He is God the Son. And Jesus came. He was all God, but he then chose to become all man. Jesus is God's greatest gift because you and I have a problem that we can't take care of on our own, and that is sin. Sin is what you think and say and do that goes against God, that is your own way, like telling a lie, thinking a mean thought about somebody, taking something that's not yours. Those things are sin, and you're born knowing how to sin, wanting to sin. In fact, the Bible tells us everybody has disobeyed God. And the big sad thing about sin is there's a punishment that you and I deserve. And that's to be separated from God now and in danger of being separated from God forever because of sin. And you and I can't do anything about our sin problem, but God can. This is why he sent Jesus, the greatest gift to you and me, to the people of the world. Jesus, he lived a perfect life, obeying God in everything. And then Jesus, he willingly died on the cross to take the punishment for your sin and mine. He took your place and he died for you. But he didn't stay dead. He is alive. He came alive on the third day. Hundreds of people saw him alive from the dead before he then returned to heaven where he's alive still now, ruling over everything as king. Now at Easter time is when we celebrate how Jesus died to pay for our sins and how he is alive. He is the one true hope. and He is the greatest gift. God wants you to know him. He wants you to be forgiven of your sin. And that's through Jesus. And he's made this promise. In John, it tells us, believe 
Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That means if you believe if you, in your heart, if you trust that Jesus died for you, that he paid for your sin, that he took your place, if you believe that, then he promises that you will have a life with him that begins that moment and that will go on forever and ever with him. And your sins will be forgiven. You will know God. You'll have a friendship with him that will never, ever stop. That's what eternal life is, that forever life with God. And God wants to give you that gift. You can have that gift of forgiveness and forever life with him. If you know you've done wrong, if you're sorry, if you believe that Jesus died for you, that he paid for your sin, that he's the only one who could do that, then you can talk to God. You can trust in him to forgive you whenever you are ready. And you can trust Jesus as your savior. You can just talk to God when you're ready. You can tell him that you know you've done wrong things and you're sorry. Tell him that you believe Jesus is God, the son who died for your sin, who took your place, who took your punishment, and he's alive. The only one who could do this for you. And tell God you want to live his way with his help, that you want him to forgive you and give you his forever life. And he promises he will. Trusting Jesus as your savior is the most important decision you'll ever make. And it's a decision between you and God. If you've already trusted Jesus as your savior, then don't forget to tell others about God's greatest gift. Now, tell about the other gifts God has given, but don't ever forget the greatest gift of Jesus. The way for boys and girls and moms and dads to have their sin forgiven is through believing in Jesus. If you have questions or you would like to talk to us about knowing Jesus as your Savior, or if you chose to believe in Him and you want help knowing how to grow to know Him even more, we would love to talk to you. Just leave a comment below and we'll get back with you. Bye, guys.